What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and as the title says we do have news on v3.5.1 the next big update coming to eFootball 2024. It's not from the in-game menu here it is on the official Konami website so you won't find it in-game at the time of recording it might be added later on but we do have on the 7th of the 5th which is today I was just having a tea break we spotted it and then we said that we do a quick video on it and it's going to follow into another video. Now prepare to be sitting down lads you're going to have to read a lot. No, I joke. There's two sentences here. It literally just says we will be releasing V3.5.1. That's what it's going to be known as on the 9th of the 5th. Now, notice that it says Android here. There's no other information there. And it doesn't say, you know, PS5. It doesn't say console. But I presume that that's just kind of like a typo that they're needing to add it later on. I hope. Because obviously we know from, you know, playing the game and, and keeping track of what content is going to be dropping. What's expiring. What's going to be kind of refreshed. We know that there's always a new update tied to phases. So we are going to be going from phase 7 in eFootball League to phase 8. And that is going to be ending on the 9th of the 5th as well, which now ties in with that date that we saw. The match pass is the same, the 9th of the 5th. Also, on top of that, we still have the campaign's objectives going on, right? That is kind of slightly different and I'll probably get into that in a different video. That's kind of like the data pack stuff, but it's more so the players. That is what kind of really ties in and gives us the clues. You can see here that all the players are going to be renewed. Um, there's no players in the shop at the moment. That Menu is going to be gone by Thursday as well on the 9th. So he's going to be refreshed. So it's going to be your last chance to get him. We have him in this profile here. But also on top of that, as well as the match pass and the eFootball League phase being reset, you are going to be getting brand new cards. That's the one thing that we, you know, we'll always have new. You are going to still have the English League attackers, which only drop Monday, but they've started to double drop now. And you are going to be getting new AC Milan packs. You're also going to be getting the Player of the Week every Thursday as well. But then not, on not only that, you're also going to be getting all the nominating contracts, which are usually tied to the actual campaign or to the actual season um, is what it is going to be. So this season was bring the energy, bring the noise. And then you had like four or five nominating contracts. I think it was four in total that started all the way back with the classic number 10s, Gundo and Odegaard and all those guys, right? But for me, I just wanted to make this short video basically asking. I'm going to get into a couple of issues with the game, right? We're going to do a video tomorrow. I, mean, I need a little bit more time on it where we're going to talk about the actual issues and what I want to see fixed in V3.5.1. Now listen, lads, anyone that has played the game for longer than two to three hours, okay, and has played online at any difficulty, well, at any level, will understand that there are some big issues with the core gameplay at the moment in terms of the flow of the game. I always think, ever to take everything back to the flow of the game. You're going to see a clip here where I'm just controlling the play, my passes are slick, everything's moving fine. You can actually have some great gameplay moments within eFootball 2024. I think the people that aren't having the great gameplay moments, it's probably just because eFootball is just, you know, it's just not for them. You know, it's, it's just a different experience. It's an online-centric game. Um, the AI are super, super aggressive, such as this, shoulder charge. A lot of the stuff that have the flow of the game... It just completely ruins what's good about some of the build-up and some of the passages to play. Heavy touches, lack of response, input delay. Even when you're not trying to foul and you're just trying to win the ball back, the refs don't call it. I mean, the ref is standing right in front of me. I'm not even trying to, you know, be sweaty or spammy there. But I mean, what am I meant to do in that situation? Kick the ball over the goal line and not score? Of course I'm going to score, even though it should have been a free to the opponent. And also, this game can sometimes turn you into a noob. It looks like I have literally never played the game before, getting absolutely rinsed. But it's because of this delay. Look, Kavara just standing up, no input, nothing. Nothing that I can do about it. And then he scores a goal to get back into the game. And it's the same when you're defending or it goes for or against you. Look at Mike alone here. He's gone before Cannavaro is even able to be switched onto, even though the guy is manually controlling him. It's too late. And those milliseconds can define a game for you, right? So I feel like that there's a lot of issues. Yes, you can score some beautiful goals. That's what I think I keep coming back to the game for, is to try and get those diamonds in the rough type experiences like this. But I definitely feel we need to go back to this type of gameplay, which is kind of highlighted here by the touches, the dribbling, the lack of AI defense, you know, and hand holding and stuff like that. I'm going to be going into a different video with more detail tomorrow, right? There is some good that I still like about this game. But I think V3.5 definitely has its work cut out for it with V or V3.5.1 with, you know, superseding V3.5. But I want to know what you guys want to see, right? And I'm going to filter in a couple of the best comments into the video tomorrow before we get the update on the Thursday. What do you actually want to see in the game, right? I know everyone wants, you know, 
Master League and all that. That's kind of separate to the gameplay. We're talking strictly gameplay here, right? They're not going to drop Master League or Edit Mode mid-season when all the, your, the domestic leagues are winding down. They're going to probably drop that with a brand new game or a massive update that they can actually sink their teeth into and have a bit of time to, to release it, right? But in terms of the gameplay, for guys that actually play the game day in, day out, or, you know, a couple of hours a week here and there, or dip in, dip out, what do you guys want to see? What do you want to see fixed? Like, I want to make sure that we cover all angles tomorrow to be able to kind of look out for stuff. Let me know. The best comments will be featured. We'll read a load of comments, and then we will be live streaming on Thursday as well, and we'll put it to the test. But that is just a quick video for you. I will also do, you know, a What's Coming Thursday video tomorrow as well, probably, um, and round that in with the new players. But I want to know from you guys, right? I want to know. Um, I just had to make this video. I'm just on a quick tea break with work. But we will be back Thursday with the stream. We'll have another video later as well. Yeah, just let me know, lads. Let me know. I think we're at a critical point now for where eFootball 2024 needs to be. And I think that there's a lot of work with V3.5.1 that needs to write what was wrong with V3.5. Still some things I enjoy, but a lot of stuff that has crept in, especially the AI defense, the aggressiveness, you know, the blocks off the line, the physicality and the lack of call and shoulder charges and abuses in the game. Let me know what you guys want. This is your platform as much as mine. I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace.